Okay, so here are some lands and some artifacts that I took a, quite a keen interest on. Um, so, secluded courtyard. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. You can add a colorless and tap to add one amount of any color. Spend this amount only cast creature spell of the chosen type. We're activating the ability of a creature card of the chosen type. So, interesting wording on this is that uh, not only can you do tribal with this, you can do tribal spells. So, if you have an Eldrazi spell, you can use that, but of course, you're already adding a colorless. However, you know, there are quite a few different types of spells that you can play that are tribal, aside from just creatures. But this is pretty good. Uh, containment Construct, uh, which is two colorless. When you discard a card, you may exile that card from your graveyard. If you do, you may play that card this turn. So I like this one for a couple of reasons. One, I like it in Anya Falconrath because you're discarding cards. Uh, this takes those madness cards that you typically couldn't play, or those cards that don't have madness that you typically couldn't play. You now kind of give them a madness. It's, I think that's really cool. Um, you could also throw this in Prosper. So I've got two copies of this, fortunately, I pulled. So one's going to Prosper and one's going to Anya. Ah, yeah, Ecologist Terrarium. Two colorless. When Ecologist Terrarium enters battlefield, you may search a library for basic land card, reveal it, put it to your hand, then shuffle. Two and tap, sacrifice it to put a 1 1 count on target creature. So, <clears throat> I don't care so much about the sacrifice one, even though you get a sacrifice trigger. What I do like is that it's a colorless spell that's letting you go search for a basic land card and put it in your hand for two colorless. So, the only thing that has been better than this would be from the Strixhaven set, which is like Degree of Ecology or something. I can't remember. It also lets you search for one for basic land, but it was a three drop. So this is a two drop colorless that lets you go search for a basic land card. I really like this one. And I think that if they can keep cranking out more of these colorless cards that lets you go do what other colors do, like drawing a bunch of cards, um, removing permanents, but specifically tutor cards that let you go get lands. I'm I'm all on board for that. You could really make a standardized deck to where you're able to run a mono color, but push out the abilities of five different colors. So this one, like I said, for me, this is a big win and quite a more important card than I think uh, a lot of people realize. And I could talk for a while about this, but let's move on to the next one. Um, <clears throat> It's Eater of Virtue, so one call is when a quick creature dies, exile it. Quick creature gets plus two plus zero. As long as the card is exiled with Eater of Virtue, has flying, quick creature has flying. The same is true for all these other ones, and you have a quick one. So, I mean, this is pretty neat. I like that if you, you can throw it on your commander, and if you have a lot of these keywords for your commander, you can shuffle them around pretty good. I think it's pretty neat that it keeps those abilities and gives that thing plus two plus zero. So, I don't mean, it could be, I don't think it's a blowout card, but I think it's a cool card. Especially if you're doing equipments and you have a lot of different abilities. Um, but, that is it for the colorless section of it. Again, you know, my biggest pull from this, to me, was the Ecologist Terrium. I'm really excited about this card. I like it a lot. The other ones are really good and they have their they have their places and their slots. But the terrarium was my favorite one. So go out there and try to find it and pick it and happy hunt.